What would happen if you moved at twice the speed of light? Einstein's theory of relativity would seem to preclude the possibility, but what if it could be done? As far as we know, it's not possible for a person to move at twice the speed of light. In fact, it's not possible for any object with the kind of mass you or I have to move faster than the speed of light. However, for certain strange particles, traveling at twice the speed of light might be possible and it might see, send those particles back in time. A universal speed limit? One of our best physical theories at the moment is the theory of relativity developed by Albert Einstein. According to this theory, the speed of light operates as a universal speed limit on anything with mass. Specifically, relativity tells us that nothing with mass can accelerate past the speed of light. To accelerate an object with mass, we have to add energy. The faster we want to get the object to go, the more energy we'll need. The equations of relativity tell us that anything with mass, regardless of how much mass it has, would require an infinite amount of energy to be accelerated to the speed of light. But all of the sources of energy we know are finite. They are limited in some respect. Indeed, it's plausible the universe only contains a finite num amount of energy. That would mean there is not enough energy in the whole universe to accelerate something with mass up to the speed of light. Since you and I have mass, don't expect to be traveling at twice the speed of light anytime soon. Tachyons. This universal speed limit applies to anything with what we might call ordinary mass. There are, however, hypothetical particles called tachyons with a special kind of mass called imaginary mass. There is no evidence tachyons exist, but according to relativity, their possible existence cannot be ruled out. If they do exist, tachyons must always be traveling faster than the speed of light, just as something with ordinary mass cannot be accelerated past the speed of light. Tachyons can't be slowed down to below the speed of light. Some physicists believe that if tachyons exist, they would constantly be traveling backwards in time. This is why tachyons are associated with time travel in many science fiction books and movies. There are ideas that we might someday harness tachyons to build a time machine, but for now this remains a distant dream as we don't have the ability to detect potential tachyons. Shortcuts? It's disappointing we cannot travel faster than the speed of light. The nearest star to us, other than the sun, is 4.35 light years away. So traveling at the speed of light, it would take us more than four years to get there. The farthest star we've ever detected is 28 billion light years away. So you can pretty much give up on charting the entire universe. Now that said, relativity does not allow for the existence of wormholes. A wormhole is a shortcut between any two points in space. While a star might be 4.5 light years away in normal t terms, it might only be a few hours away via a wormhole. If there are any actual wormholes, they would let us travel great distances in a very short period of time, allowing us to get to the farthest reaches of the universe within a single lifetime. Unfortunately, like tachyons, wormholes remain entirely hypothetical. Strange possibilities? Despite the fact that we cannot genuinely travel faster than light, we can still try to imagine what it would be like to do so. By thinking this way, we're engaging in counterfactual thinking. We're considering what things would or might be if, uh, like if reality was different in some way. There are many different possibilities we could consider, each with a different set of physical principles. So we can't say with a certainty what would happen if we were able to travel faster than light. At best, we can guess what might happen. Would we start to travel back in time, as some scientists think tachyons might do? This was by Sam Barron, associate professor, Australian Catholic University, on the conversation under Creative Commons. And this is on Unexpected Mysteries. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.